as I mentioned in the last video, we're going to be coloring uh, this BMW logo. If you have not seen the first part, uh, link to that will be in the description below. Um, that's where all all the all the lines went for this one. I brought back the reference image so that we could see which parts are filled in and which ones are not. So um, I'm gonna start simple with um, with uh, with this outer ring here and this inner ring here. And and to do that, first we need need um, well to get started. If you if you good to make a folder called. All the BMW colors, and I'm gonna put it underneath here. Um, I think it makes more sense that way. So, so we need so we need to know two lines. So first one is this is this bottom half here, and and the second one being this uh, uh, this top bit here. What I'm talking about is see see if I can. Uh, this is showing here. Well, well, we need the first piece of this line here, so um, I recommend solving for y. So that's the that's square root of 25 minus x squared. That gives you that top piece here, and then this bottom piece here is square root of 23 minus x squared. And now if you define an inequality, so because it's usually, uh, you can do it two ways if you, if you want this one to come first. Um, because, because this one is taking the higher values, you want this to have, have the greater than or equal to symbol. Um, yeah, it'll be this top line greater than or equal to y, greater than or equal to to, uh, to the lower line here. I prefer the other way around, uh, where we do bottom line less than or equal to y, less than or equal to the top line here. Personal preference, um, both ways will get you the results. And going to do, do, going to do something similar for the bottom here. So because these two uh, two are flipped, uh, we put a minus hat underneath. Reason this works uh, is is if you if you solve if you solve for a square root you um, you get both a positive solution and, and a negative solution because if you take a square root of a number technically um, let's say if you take a square root of nine three times three will get you nine but also minus three times minus three will also get you, will also get you that nine um, that's uh, uh, that's why we do have both a positive and, and a negative available to us. Uh, and then finally, for um, for the last piece here, here uh, this this is this is strictly related to this, this is outer ring here, and I prefer the bottom line first, and then we do the top half. All right, and then we want to bound it between minus five and whichever one this value happens to be. Um, we can be exact here because we know the raise of this is, 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 is a square root of 23. So for our boundaries, would just be minus five, less than equal to x, less than equal to the negative square root of 23. And you can see we're actually right on with this edge here. We can continue adding to this range with a comma here. 
Alright, so technically we didn't need this minus 5 here. We could have done that because, because uh, we're outside of the domain of the circle here. If you, if you if you want to be complete, yeah, you can do this. Um, it's, I do recommend it if this is your first time I'm go going through this motion. Um, I am going to to the liberty to to uh, leave them out. We're gonna do something similar for uh, for for this, for this intersection here. Um, so let's say save, save a little bit of time. Uh, we'll go ahead and duplicate these. I'm gonna make this green to make it make it uh, easier to see here. Alright, and this one should be, be a similar process where um, we're now we're, we're picking on x squared plus y squared is equal to 10 and x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. So um, this would be, so this, this, this is the smaller circle, this is the largest circle here, this is the smallest circle. I mean, larger one. Smaller one over here and the larger one in here. And uh, for this case, we would also be doing 25 is, is pointing to the largest circle up here. And this would be x is less than or equal to minus 3 and this would be um, x is greater than 3 and 3 is over here and it'll um, it'll cut right off uh, uh, so, since we're no longer in the domain of of this circle here. Alright, I'm going to change it back to um, this is the closest color to gray. Um, and now for the more interesting parts. Uh, first we first we have blue on the top left and the bottom right. So let's 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 do those. And the first thing that we'll need to do is I would recommend also take making a copy. I, I would first suggest making a copy of this inner circle here, and then and then um, and then we need to solve. We need to decompose this into both um, into into two half circles, um, positive y and negative y. What I mean by that is um, we have one positive x squared. Let's change the color on this so you can see it. And a 1 negative. And we know that we want this. So now, so now we can grab the left half of this top circle here to get us to the top left corner. And then we want the right half of this bottom half circle to get to get the bottom right corner. See now we can now what we can do I want to make both of these blue. And we can define our inequalities. So I want to bring back the colors, and this piece would be. So the top left would be this, um, this positive half of the circle here. 
we want this one to be take the upper half of y is greater than or equal to zero. So the zero a being a, a a line going going right along this horizontal axis here. And then we want to bound this with the x. And then we do something similar with with the bottom half here. And this would be greater than or equal to y, greater than or equal to 0. And x is not less than or equal to 0, x should be greater than or equal to 0. Now finally for this last piece we need to fill in this inner circle, this, not inner not the outer, just the one in between. So for that piece, what we would do, let's grab, we, we want this ring here, and we, and we also want this ring here, and, and so the two that we would be duplicating, not two, just, we just duplicate one, one of these inequalities, so so, to, so um, you can choose either to copy this um, this inequality here or this equality here. I'll pick the one at the bottom since it's the I find that the more convenient option. And and uh, you need to do two things. Two things to change. First, this is not 10 anymore. This is going up to uh, 23. Oh, we need to duplicate two equations. My bad. Is it two or three? We need this piece here. Here, let's color it just so so we can see it before I start saying the wrong stuff. Not only do we need to copy this one here, we also need to grab this one here, and then we also need to grab this top half the inequality yes and that's the positive version of it now let's group the three together just so that we have all in one place yes and now I, I want to keep it orange so, so we can it can um, and see uh, see a difference as as uh, we make edits to this this is the smaller value here. It's the uh, bottom half. So this one is talking about uh, this, the outer circle of the inner ring here. So that's 10 minus x squared. And this is talking about the outer edge of, of the inner circle here. So that's this piece is right just right underneath the inner ring of the top circle here. This is going to sound really confusing as, as I as I mix the words inner and out. And then we make the similar changes here. So this is this, is, this should be 10 and this should be 23. And we do the same thing. Everywhere we see a 10, we make that a 23. And the boundaries would be, this is no longer minus 3, we need to be further to the left, so that's, that's the, so that's minus the square root of 10, and then, and a, and a similar story here, now you can see that we fill this in. Of course, we don't want this to be orange, I, I did it just so you can see the difference, and something that you can do is, um, here, let's, um, let's let's make this black just so so you can see see some resemblance of this. While well, keep in mind that the last three is, is referring to this middle ring here. If you duplicate um, these equations, you, you can these inequalities. You can see that the that there that that the fill gets darker.
All right. I, I want to I want to make three copies of each. You're welcome to to uh, to make it as dark as you like. Um, but I, but I hope this did um, this did benefits and um, and so I'll um, I'll have a poll out I have a poll out there asking what do you want to see next letters um, like how how to, how to how to how to rotate them since since they're since they they involve several lines to to achieve their shapes or would you prefer a revisit to some of the older videos. Uh, where, where where there wasn't any audio there, and you would like to see a re-upload where I actually talk you through how that's done. Let me um, uh, let me know in the upcoming poll. Keep an eye out for that. Um, again, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you did, consider leaving a like. And and if not, uh, sorry to hear that. First of all, and second, um, and more importantly, uh, do 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 leave do leave the comments on uh, on what things could have been and done better. All right, um, yeah. Uh, so, so that's the BM, BMW logo that that we have for now, and um, and uh, I'll, I'll I'll see you in the next video.